hello everyone how are you so we have finished our previous chapter that was database concepts and today we are going to start a new chapter that is called SQL or structured query language sometimes it is also pronounced as SQL and we will be interchangeably using SQL SQL or whatever okay so now let us understand what is SQL so SQL is a standard language for accessing and manipulating database across the platforms different platforms and different relational database management systems right okay so let us go ahead and re read this introduction sql or structured query language is a standard language for accessing and manipulating database sql commands are used to create transform and retrieve information from relational database management systems okay what is relational database management system we have already talked about it this is a simple software which is used to manage a database management systems okay now uh, and also used to create interface between user and database by using SQL commands one can search any data in a database and perform other functions like create table add records modify data remove rows drop table edc sql commands are used to implement following you can see a very long list it can be used to retrieve data from the database insert records update records delete records insert or create new database create new tables views triggers many things are there okay and we will be focusing on creating table retrieving information and manipulating the data right so let us focus about it first of all you need to open mysql command prompt okay i am sharing you a video where you can learn how to install mysql on your machine okay so follow those step and then come back again and we will start it right now we will open mysql command prompt and log into mysql instance and then we will create a database okay so now first of all i need to click on start and type mysql and straight away i can see mysql 5.5 .5 command line client you may say different version on the basis of your installation don't worry go ahead with this command which says command line client okay just click on it and you will be prompted to enter password in my case it is ram and in your school system it may be different but i will tell you if you are my student what is what is the password i have given just click on or hit enter and then you will see i am in my sql prompt okay from here i can type sql commands and then perform any task which i require so first of all let us see how many databases this machine has so the command is show databases just hit enter remember do not forget to have a semicolon at the end of the command now you can see these are my databases now here db1 is created by me but others are already present and comes with default mysql installation right so don't worry i will teach you how to create a database this time i'm going to create a demo database for this the command is create database and the name of the database that is let's say school okay or demo whatever just i will be using a school see so school database is created now you can check out it is created or not by simply navigating to my previous command by pressing up key so if i press up key one time then it will give me a previous command and then if i press once again see so it will give me 
previously command uh, previous command then the create database command so just hit enter now you can see my database is listed school now to work with the database we need to make our database as working database to do that we have to use a command called use use is the command and then we have to specify the database name if uh, let's say it is test and then semicolon just enter it and if you don't use a semicolon then also this command works fine okay so you can use this so I have changed my database to current working database right now let us see the tables in this database as I have created a fresh database so you can see you will not see any database here see empty set or my mistake I have used a test I should be using a school that is not a problem you can use a school here and just hit enter and then you can repeat the command show tables remember put a s at the end of tables okay just click on sorry hit enter and you will see there is no table as I have created a very fresh database so my task is to create a database and remember we have learned a different data type we will be using those data type here for creating columns so first of all the command goes like this create now table you have to specify the table name and that is let's say student for me and then use a parenthesis now you can keep on typing here but I would like to have a enter okay so I have used a enter so that it looks nice so now I have I need to specify the first column let's say it's admin number and it is integer and the data type of admin is integer and then I need to specify a constant that is primary key we will talk about a different constant in later on in our session but for now we will be using our primary key okay and then comma so notice I have completely given a definition for a column admin number is my column name int is a data type followed by space and then specify a different constraints you can specify more constraint by simply specifying other constraints like default is default but in primary key we cannot specify a default uh, not null you can specify by simply giving a space and typing not null and then comma so comma is used only when you have finished giving definition to a column okay then we are going to specify another column let's say it is name and that is where care let's have 100 this time and let's say it be null null so this is another constant I'm going to use and then last I can use a class or it should be a class it's int and I'm going to specify the scale that is 2 right and then another section it is let's say care I can specify one or two whatever you like but this time I will be using one and then when I finished my column definitions I then I have to close my parenthesis by specifying right parenthesis and then semicolon to finish the command and just hit enter if everything is fine your table will be created it will say query ok zero rows affected now uh, let us see whether I am having a table now you can see I am having a table in a school database student now check out how many records I have for this I will be using a select command a strict from table name that is student as I have created this table right now so there may not there will be no 
rows so it will give you an empty set but if you want to see the structure of this table you can type a command desc and then table name that is student and then hit enter okay you can also use the escrib describe student and we are getting a same result here you can see my field names my data type for the field name and then a null we are allowing null or not for these two columns we are not allowing nulls and for class in section nulls are allowed any other key you have used or for example foreign key primary key right or uh, if you have used any default values or any other constraints right so this will give you a complete structure of your table right now let us insert this so that we can work on the table for this we have an insert command just type insert and then specify the table name student and then values this is a simple syntax I'm teaching you later on we will discuss insert command in detail but for now I am using a default syntax right so first value that is let's say admission number one and its name is let's say um, Manoj and then in the particular sequence that is the class it I should be 12 and then specify the section and let's say it's C now you can use a double quotes or a single quotes when you specify a string okay just like in Python and if you are going to specify a numeric value then you don't need not to specify a quotes okay later on we will discuss how to insert a date so this is uh, we have inserted a row now if you want to check it out you just have to type select a stick from student again and then hit enter so see I have created a table okay so that's all for today hope you are going to use my SQL first install it uh, I'm going to give you a link follow those steps and then start working on my SQL so goodbye bye bye see you